Don't mess with Texas. This is Skywatch TV News, June 15th of 2015. I'm Derek Gilbert. The state of Texas is about to take back about a billion dollars in gold from the Federal Reserve Bank. Governor Greg Abbott signed a bill on Friday that establishes a gold and silver depository in Texas. That's the first state-level depository in the country. And repatriates to Texas about a billion dollars in gold bullion currently stored in a New York bank vault. The gold belongs to the University of Texas Endowment Fund. Now, this bill would also make any attempt to confiscate the gold, which the U.S. government did in 1933, illegal, setting up a potential future confrontation between the federal government and the state of Texas. The underlying assumption here seems to be that there's more gold being traded on world markets than actually exists. And so the administrators of the University of Texas Endowment have figured that it's better to have their hands on the gold bars than on promissory notes. One member of the endowment's board says he considers gold just another currency that the federal government can't print more of. It's a doomsday bunker for billionaires. And you probably know the federal government has a ring of bunkers located in uh, mountains and under mountains around Washington, D.C., West Virginia, Pennsylvania. Uh, they're called COG, or Continuity of Government Bunkers. Uh, a quick helicopter ride for bureaucrats and lawmakers considered too important to lose if the big one falls. Um, a company now sees a market to offer similar shelter to the rich and famous, but not those Spartan plasticky shelters that were built during the height of the Cold War for federal government employees. Now, these are four-star hotel accommodations. The company is called Vivos, and they specialize, according to their website, in offering the ultimate in luxurious doomsday accommodations. Vivos, Indiana, which is located somewhere in the Hoosier State, they won't say exactly where, uh, was built, according to its brochure, during the Cold War to withstand a 20 megaton blast within two miles and will hold up to 80 people comfortably for a year without the need to return to the surface. Far from nuclear targets, they say, this uh, bunker is a safe distance from the New Madrid Fault, the Mississippi River. It has uh, food, a deep water well, and medical supplies. Just bring your medicines and your clothes, and you're good to go. Vivos plans to construct other shelters around the world and will uh, ultimately offer space for up to about 6,000 people around the world. That's one for each billion of us, or one for each million of us, I guess. Uh, the cost, just a mere $35,000 per adult, $25,000 per child. But discounts are available for people with medical, military, security, or mechanical skills. This sounds kind of like a, a prelude to a uh, sixth seal scenario in Revelation 6, when the sixth seal opens. Then the kings of the earth and the great ones and the generals and the rich and the powerful and everyone, slave and free, hid themselves in the caves and among the rocks of the mountains, calling to the mountains and the rocks, fall on us and hide us from the face of him who was seated on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of their wrath has come and who can stand? Now, speaking of Revelation chapter 6, we're getting a little taste of uh, what it might be like when the fourth seal opens. That's when the uh, writer called Death, Thanatos, takes off with uh, hell following with him and uh, power is given to the beasts of the earth to kill a fourth of the earth. The beasts may be what we think of as beasts, might also be the little beasts that my wife Sharon Gilbert wrote about in her book Ebola and the Fourth Horseman of the Apocalypse. In South Korea, the MERS outbreak slowing but not dead yet. Death toll is now 15. Five new cases confirmed over the weekend that brings the total to 150. Most of the schools there have reopened after being closed for two weeks, but 440 remain shut, and over 5,000 people are still quarantined. Uh, Saudi Arabia, by the way, uh, reports five new cases of MERS, uh, the strain of coronavirus that was, uh, that's responsible for Middle East Respiratory Syndrome was first identified in Saudi Arabia back in 2012. Um, in Georgia, the nation of Georgia, not the southern U.S. state, flash flooding destroyed the zoo in the capital city of Tbilisi and set loose beasts, dangerous beasts, wolves, lions, bears, and a hippopotamus. Teams rounding up the animals have had to contend with floodwaters as they tried to coax a bear down from a second floor window ledge or tranquilizing a hippopotamus that was wandering the streets. In Africa, by the way, the hippo is considered more dangerous than the crocodile. A full-grown hippo can bite a crocodile in half and are considered uh, uh, less predictable than uh, crocodiles. Uh, more than a dozen people in the nation of Georgia have died during flooding. And over the weekend, just yesterday, Sunday evening, in uh, North Carolina, two teens lost limbs in shark attacks that occurred within 90 minutes of one another, two miles apart on the same beach at uh, Oak Island, North Carolina. 12-year-old girl lost part of her arm, may lose 
her leg, and a boy had to have his arm amputated just below the shoulder. Investigators don't know yet what type of shark, how large the shark is, or whether it was the same shark that uh, committed those attacks. From the wars and rumor of war file, Russian-backed rebels in Ukraine have started up the war there again. They are pushing southwest from their capital city of Donetsk. Meanwhile, Ukraine has deployed an S-300 anti-aircraft missile system near the city of Odessa on the Black Sea. The intelligence company Stratfor says this is worrying. They predicted that this could lead to a, well, an open conflict between NATO and Russia. Why? Well, Russia has 1,400 peacekeepers stationed in the Moldovan province of Transnistria, which is on Ukraine's western border between Moldova and Ukraine. Just a note of personal entrance, it's where my mother's ancestors emigrated from about 120 years ago, apparently got out in time. Uh, Transnistria is a breakaway province in Moldova. When the Soviet Union fell apart in the early 90s, they fought a brief war for independence. They declared a ceasefire in 1992. Um, Russian peacekeepers have been stationed there since then, and Russia has been supplying them via an overland route through Ukraine. Well, because of Russia's support for the rebels in Ukraine, Ukraine has closed that truck route, so Russia has been flying supplies into their peacekeepers from their base in Crimea, which they recently took away from Ukraine, which means flying over Ukrainian airspace near Odessa, hence the problem with Ukraine having an anti-aircraft missile system. Um, Stratfor says that uh, another factor to consider is that uh, the government of Ukraine, President Peter Poroshenko recently appointed, or just this past weekend in fact, uh, appointed Mikhail Saakashvili, the governor of Odessa. Mikhail Saakashvili is the former president of the nation of Georgia. Saakashvili was president in 2008 when Georgia attacked its breakaway province, South Ossetia, where Russian peacekeepers were also stationed. That led to the 2008 war between Russia and Georgia, which didn't go well for, for Georgia. At the time, Georgia was calling for help from NATO, which did not come. Uh, Stratfor warns we could be watching a repeat of history and again, a conflict between NATO and Russia. And which, that makes this story more significant. The Pentagon wants to store heavy weapons in Eastern Europe for the first time since the Cold War. Battle tanks, infantry fighting vehicles, and weapons for perhaps as many as 5,000 American soldiers in Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia, Poland, Romania, Bulgaria, and possibly Hungary. This proposal still requires the approval of Secretary of Defense Ashton Carter and President Obama. Skywatch TV returns to the Christian Television Network tomorrow night. Steve Quayle with one more discussion, fascinating discussion with Tom Horn about uh, portals, about uh, the uh, secret and forbidden technology of the uh, fallen angels who rebelled against God and their creations placed on earth. Uh, that will air on the Christian Television Network tomorrow night, 8.30 p.m. Central Time. That's UTC minus 5 on the uh, DirecTV channel 376, Dish Network channel 267, Glory Star Satellite Channel 117. And if you don't have Dish Television, Satellite Television, you can watch the live stream on the Internet at the Christian Television Network's website. That's ctnonline.com. Now, uh, you could, if you miss it live, you can also watch it uh, later this week on demand at your convenience on the Skywatch TV Roku channel. This is a watch on demand uh, channel that allows you to watch our programs and these daily news updates when it's convenient for you. If you have a Roku account and would like to add the Skywatch TV channel to your account, log on to skywatchtv.com slash Roku for instructions. We are thankful for your support here at Skywatch TV. It makes this possible for your financial gift of $10 or more this month, we'd like you to have these free gifts, these two books that will help you prepare for what may come. Divine Intervention, It is a Reality, Angels in the Fire by Dan Statler, an account of how his wife was miraculously rescued from a horrific car accident, an account that was corresponded, or rather uh, corroborated, that's the word, corroborated by first responders on the scene, and the Disaster Survival Bible, a good preparatory resource for uh, the rough times that most probably lay ahead. Again, we will send those out to you at no charge for your financial gift of $10 or more. And instructions on how to donate to Skywatch TV are posted online at skywatchtv.com. Your feedback is also important to us. It helps us kind of fine tune the programming here and what we can do on, on these daily news updates to make them more informative and interesting to you. Send me your email, your comments, your questions, suggestions, dgilbert at skywatchtv.com. We thank you for watching as we keep watch.
I'm Derek Gilbert, and this is Skywatch TV.